Hello, this is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire. We are here at RSNA 2024, and we are here with Dr. Alejandro Bunone of Radden Health. Dr. Bunone, thanks for being with us. My pleasure. So Radden Health is exhibiting at its second RSNA meeting. Um, but, but before we dive into that, can you tell us a little bit about your background and kind of what some of the things that you've seen in radiology that maybe where radiologists might need a little help? Well, I've been a radiologist uh, for 20 years. Uh, I've been um, working for first imaging centers, I work at hospitals, and then I started my own teleradiology practice back in 2010. Uh, and I've seen a lot of um, inefficiencies in the workflows, both in imaging centers and from the radiology workflow. Uh, and that kind of gave birth of the idea of, of creating writing as a single, all-in-one solution. What are some of the pain points as a radiologist? What are some of the pain points that you experienced where you think radiologists need help? Well, from the teleradiology uh, uh, practice experience, uh, as a growing teleradiology practice that I own as well, um, with 50 radiologists doing about 50,000 studies uh, a month, uh, having to organize the workflow, uh, different state licenses, different credentialing, different uh, body parts that read specialties, uh, it was a nightmare. Uh, we were having 15 staff uh, just to manage the, the assignment of the radiologists and we were able to reduce that to five FTEs uh, and increase the, uh, the productivity of the radiologists by using our system. Another one is, is the dictation and the integration with the PACs that many times they break but not efficient so we create our own dictation system that uh, expedites the dictation up to 50%, reduces the dictation up to 50% for the radiology by using AI and also preventing medical errors uh, by, by monitoring the, the quality of the reports. Okay. So w when did you come up with the idea to start Radden Health? Well, it's about three years ago. Yeah, uh, we purchased uh, the packs that we were using at that point, uh, and we've been uh, investing 100% of the revenue of the packs company that we purchased, it was Substream, uh, into, the, uh, into development. So okay. our, our product is uh, hosting in AWS, it's a serverless, application, 100% uh, uh, web-based, cloud-based, um, and um, it's been in development for two years and we, we were already live, we have clients, and we're using it in our own practice as well. What, what sort of functions uh, does it perform for radiologists? Well, for radiologists as a PAX, it's, it's, a, it's an all-in-one solution, so we have the RISC, radiology information system, uh, the PAX, the voice recognition, and the workflow management. So it goes from the patient engagement uh, all the way to the radiology uh, report, yeah. right? So for imaging centers, it, it, it automates the entire workflow of the patient from self-scheduling, automatic verification of benefits, automatic uh, authorization, uh, even so all the revenue management we do, uh, including uh, collection of payments by credit card. And from the PACS, uh, we have a web-based PACS uh, viewer in voice recognition is not integrated, it's part of the PACS, so it's the same application. Mm -hmm. uh, it even can read the images and, and tra uh, transmit images, for example, from the, the ultrasound uh, technology sheets, it can read the ultrasound text sheets and put into a radiology report automatically so they don't have to dictate. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So a radiology, is, it takes a microsecond to look at an image, but it takes a lot of time to put that into a report, right? right. So we're trying to decrease the burnout of the radiologists by facilitating the report creation. Yeah. Also, we can freely dictate naturally, like we're talking, yeah. and the system understands what you're saying, and putting the structured report yeah. in a correct position instead of be tabbing yeah. through a report, and also creates impression for you. Mm -hmm. And even sometimes generates a differential diagnosis based on connecting to literature. So now AI has been has become such a big part of, of radiology, a big story in radiology. Um, does your product uh, do you incorporate AI into it, and if so, how? We are not incorporating at this moment AI for image analysis, but we're incorporating in everything else. Okay. Right. And so what is what is it? What is AI? How does that power your solutions? We automatically assign the, 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 the studies to the radiologists based on any criteria that may be to the most adequate radiologists. We manage your workflow. We prioritize the studies based on SLAs, based on the type of study, 
Uh, if a study is from a hospital, ER will go upper in the list that if a study from an outpatient. Yeah. Uh, so we, we manage your workflow automatically for, for, the, for the imaging center or the teleology practice that is handling that workflow. That's auto complete, completely automated. Yeah. So the SLA is, is delivered on time. Yeah. Uh, and the cases are read in the order that it, we should be read. Uh, from the radiology uh, standpoint, the dictation AI makes it extremely easy to create a report. So it's like I'm looking at an image. I don't have to look at my dictation screen. I'm just talking naturally, and the report is generated automatically. Right? Okay. The images come from the the measurements come from the images straight into the report. So it's facilitating the radiologist to be uh, do not burn out. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a very stress, non stressful um, you know uh, yeah. experience. Does your technology have particular benefits for teleradiology practices? You mentioned that just a second ago. Absolutely. Yeah, that's uh, our, you know, one of the practices that we can help the most is teleradiology practice, especially complex ones, uh, multiple radiology reading different modalities, different schedules, uh, from different you know licensing or different states or different credentialing. We can manage everything, even at at, at the payer level. If they're not credentialed with a payer, we can just not give that study to them. Radiologists. Perfect. And, and what are some of the things that you're highlighting here at RSNA 2024? Well, we are the only company here that has all in one in the whole RSNA. Uh, from the self scheduling, from the patient engagement, risk authorization, merchant services, packs, dictation, and workflow orchestrator, we have it all. All right, very good. We're Dr. Alejandro Bunione of uh, Radden Health. Thanks so much for being with us. My pleasure. Thank you. Right. Signing off from RSNA 2024, my name is Brian Casey. Hello.